Blue. I'll Here be you blue. Go. I go rain or shine. That's how I roll. I I I don't care. You know me. I'm like, it's all good. You'll be blue. So Jeanette <laughs> is joining us today. She's very blue, but not sad. She's just I'm blue. Not sad. <laughs> We are um, delighted to be here. And we have one more guest coming. We just have like fun tech issues that we always have to <laughs> work out every time we go on. But I am Karen Campbell. I'm the founder of Awesome Art School. And I am here today with some friends, with some new faces for some of you. I'm joined by Bryn Wynn, which is my favorite name to say. Like, <laughs> Bryn Wynn. I'm like, no way. Um, she is an extraordinary artist. And um, she, a while, a long time ago, was a Fun Fab Drawing Club member and got so dang good. Now she teaches for me. So yeah, Bryn. And Jeanette um, is Hi, here ladies. as well. Jeanette, who, if you guys are in my Facebook group or a member of Awesome Art School, you probably talk to Jeanette every single day. She is also an outstanding artist and, um, and is one of my super magical team members. Oh, and I got April here too joining us. Um, so she is here today as well. And then last but not least, April, I just want to say a huge thanks for coming on. She just woke up five minutes ago and <laughs> um, so, so graciously volunteered to come on and answer any questions. So April is a Wonder Bundle member, which means she's a member of all the clubs at Awesome Art School. So she's a member of the Fun Five Drawing Club. She's a member of the Mixed Media Society. And she's a member of the Celtic Collective. So I thought because doors close in six hours, if anyone has any questions from a student's perspective, like... How the heck do you stay organized? Like, how do you know what to do every day when you wake up? How do you choose? Um, which is your, do you have a favorite club or do you have a favorite lesson or anything from a student perspective? I wanted to um, have a student here for you to answer those from their perspective rather than mine. And you guys are probably all sick of, to death of me anyways, because I've been on every day <laughs> since last week. And I was cut out Karen more than happy to shut up. Well, that's probably on their side. Cause I think it's okay. Um, I'm just going to keep going. Um, yeah. Sometimes pe individual people have issues. Can everyone else here hear me? Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. Well, so, yeah. <laughs> okay. If pe sometimes people <laughs> have internet issues <laughs> in the chat, and I'm I'm sorry for those people, but there's not 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 things that we can do to support them if that happens on their end. So I apologize. Um. So if you guys have a question for April, who is here as a student, and April, seriously. Afterwards, can you go and pick out a prize for yourself from my Etsy shop? Because oh. I really appreciate the fact that you volunteered for this, like on your own accord, is magical, and you were the only one. Aww. And so I want to really. I can't believe say I'm thank the you. only one. I can't, I, ca I'm a I think offended. I sent the email at like two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I you know I I really appreciate it so much. I think it's really helpful for people. Um, and if anyone has questions for Bryn and about her journey, because she has a remarkable journey of growth in a very short time, and Jeanette is as our resident artist also has the inside scoop of helping people. So if you have questions, and she's an expert on supplies and techniques. Um, we are literally all here to serve you guys. And if you have a question, put them in all caps so we can see them super easy. Um, and also, hello. <laughs> I forgot about that part. <laughs> oh, hello, hello. And I see Ellen Goodman. Margo's here helping out. Uh, Teresa, hello. Valerie, hello. Good morning. Jolene, good morning. Annette, hello. Okay, I see a first... Um, uh, I see a first question coming in. Can you see this, April? Can you see that on your screen? <laughs> yeah, I can. <laughs> okay. It's funny. It's very so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh God, I'm joined by Tippy, which this is not good. No, oh, no. my favorite. <laughs> no. That's never good. We're just going to go ahead. She and... came just to see me. Yeah. <laughs> Playing me while I'm live. She's so mean. Oh, 
She doesn't attack me if she's by my butt. She oh, just attacks I just me if she's in my face. Hippie interruptions. Mm-hmm. Those are my favorite part. <laughs> I know it is. Favorite part too. I'm like, no, no, no! Don't let, <laughs> don't let her go. She's entertaining me. Yeah, <laughs> she's a bonus. <laughs> Takes a finger off. So I don't know if this is a serious question, but is it possible to have too much space? I actually have an opinion about this. Does anyone else? Is it where? Uh- can you see I it? wish I had that problem. I did too. I do too. I agree. I don't have enough space. I'm going to be my- at my ceiling pretty soon. <laughs> my problem is the more space I have, the more space I fill. Yeah. yeah that's have it. That. Yes. So I think like it is a problem for me to have more space because then I, my crap just goes like, just goes all over. Um, awesome. Um... Oh, good. Oh, Bree said she uh, posted a club um, part of your journey. Oh, good. Photo journal oh, of your fun. art in the Facebook group. That is awesome. Oh, good. Thank you, Margo. And hi, Steph Nash. Um, oh, this is a really good question, actually. Do you organize on your computer or do you have the binders? Do you have binders? Did you? Are you using any of the pretty platter no. pages? No, I'm not because I was working on a commission forever. So mm-hmm. I am obsessed with school. So I'm just going in there and doing whatever I see now, right, right now. Love it. That's awesome. I, I am in the middle of the perspective um, drawing. In the drawing club? In the drawing club, yeah. Oh, cool. Which one are you doing? I just finished the church. Oh, my parents' church. <laughs> yes. So cute. Yes, it was so fun. It's a cute church. Yeah, it's very yeah. New England. Oh, so is that question about the computer or binders, the, about the binders, like where you can go through and see all the lessons, or do you just go on the computer and work your way through? Is that what that question means? So, so yeah, that, thank you for that follow-up question, Bryn. So, because Wonder Bundle members have access to all three clubs, organization has become an issue for some people. So in order oh, to okay. in order to kind of solve that organizational problem, we designed like planner pages, like there's 30 for each club so that people could print them out. <clears throat> and I can actually show you guys like print them out. And some people's I know Sherry and I shared them. She has a really nice picture of hers in the group. So she like printed all of hers out and like filled. So she has like one per club. And there's like a cover uh, and then there's like interior pages and it just helps you keep track of like where you are, what lesson you're on, who's teaching it. Like, like, did you like it or not? Um, But there's also like, there's also like, like trackers in there and goal setting thing. It's just like a whole, it's like planners, but it's just specific for the clubs. Um, But see, but I love that April's like, nah, I'm just doing whatever I want. Like, that's what I like (laughs) about the clubs is you can do like, you can get as meticulous as you want to. And there's resources for that. Or you can just do whatever the hell you want. You don't have to go in any order and you can just like binge. So after you I want to learn all of it. So, so you're just attacking you know, it. Yeah, I just attack it. Yeah. That's amazing. I love that. That's how yeah. I would be. I'm a mess. <laughs> See, I'm yeah. still not a Wonder Bundle member because I joined back. Gosh. Mm. Am I a buy Long- two, get one free? I don't remember. It was like, I'm part of all of them, but it was like cheaper to do the old Yes, you were a with drawing club. I didn't even have a bundle when you joined, no. Bren. It was no. pr- it was pre Celtic Collective. Yeah, yeah. When you were in the drawing club, did you like to go in order or did you like to skip around? Well, when I was in the drawing club, I actually just started with <laughs> I started with a hundred fun fab faces. Oh and that yeah, was yeah, my yeah. Focus. Yeah, <laughs> um, and that long... was my only reason to be in the drawing club at first is because I wanted to get good at faces. Yeah. So that's what I really want to do that too. Focused in on, and once I started getting that under my belt, I actually went into the mixed media club because I took what I learned in that and went there. Okay. Um, I was thinking I should maybe this year restart the 100 Fun Fab Faces and do I have them all sitting next to me just you do? in case. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to show us like an early one and then show? Well, I love that. Because it's like, this is, because I'm mean, like, to me, this is like. Where you started. It's where I started. And it was, I just can't say enough how huge that class was. Oh, yeah. Where I am today. I mean. That was like the foundation of everything I do now is was based on that class, even though you might not be able to see it 
that was it. And that was like, there were so many ahas in that class. And it was, oh my gosh, it's hands down my favorite class out there still. And I've taken lots of classes. Yeah, you have. Yeah, you have. <laughs> so I agree with Bryn. That, <laughs> that challenge changed everything. Oh. And I, I remember specifically being so scared to do the scribble faces. I was like, I can't do this. I like skipped it for weeks. And I finally went ahead and did it. And now it's like my go-to thing when I can't. Because I was just like, okay, this is going to look like complete mm, uh, filter crap. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And on the other hand, it was so freeing. Yeah. Because your pen could correct anything and no one would notice because there were so many other lines. It was All great. Scribbles. Yeah. Oh, I loved it. That's so fascinating. Like after so many years, cause I did that lesson cause I was super sick and I didn't want to miss a week, but I was too sick to like, you know, do a long drawn out hour long, mm -hmm. whatever. And so I'm like, I'm just going to do this. Um, so that's super interesting. And it yeah. also is ties actually into this question that I just saw in the chat from Steph nash about how do you get your mojo back and i think steph is a wonder bundle member too steph i know um the i feel like the scribble like there's scribble animals in the drawing club and i wonder if that wouldn't be helpful for you steph as in just like what jeanette was talking <coughs> about as well have you ever done any of those scribble animals april no no, but it sounds really cool. They're I would. Like a, they're like a mess, but they're like adorable all at the same time somehow. I want to um, say I've seen them. Yeah, I'm sure you have. Um, and um, so interesting to hear you guys talk about that scribble face because it is. It's like a hot mess express, but it's such a great way to loosen up. Um, I mean, there was like, James, show me one. Oh, show here, me some. James Luke Burke's <gasps> thing. He was the guest. Oh, I'm in love with him. He doesn't bat for my team. That is so I can't... cool. <laughs> no. He is the coolest. Oh, my gosh. I love him. I love him. My husband knows I love him, too, and he's not threatened one bit. But, oh, wait. Well, I know. Well, I almost <laughs> fell out of my chair when I asked him and he said yes. I was like, oh, oh, like, oh my God, Sean. I know. I got a personal yes. shout out from him once where he was just like, it has been a joy to watch your journey, mm -hmm. Bryn, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, you know who I am? <laughs> I know. That's why he's amazing. Amazing. I love, I love him. You. I, I do love too. You. I do too. Yeah. And for anyone watching this, that is all on YouTube, by the way. This is a, it's actually, it's a free series on YouTube. It's housed in the drawing club because I also like put all the resources and there's like, I actually made like a tracking sheet too that you can download. Um, so it is part of the drawing club, but you can also find those on my, uh, my YouTube channel, my mixed media YouTube channel too. I think, I, you know what I was going to start you guys, I was going to start a series called sketching expressions and have oh. do a series of expressions because even though the last like eight in that series are expressions, nobody ever got to the last eight. Did you do those ones, Bryn? Cause you, you said you were hardcore into that. Most people uh, fell well, off after like week 10. For the, the hundred fans. You did? I did the mm -hmm. whole thing. Yeah. Oh, you did. I finished. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. So I have the expressions um, down. See, a different book. I had to put them in two binders That's because amazing. where am I? Those were towards the end. So here's. Oh, yeah, you did. Yes, you did. Oh. So, it, oh, my God. Look at how, like, crazy different your style is now, too. And there's the last. Whoops. See, I'm so screwed up on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, what? That's That's so cute. Yes. Um, but, you know, like. The 100 Fun Fab Faces, I think what was huge for me growing, I mean, people can do it however they want. It's whatever. But I, like, really made a point to mimic what you were teaching for mm -hmm. those four repetitions. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, as much as I wanted to go and do my own thing, I did my own thing with other projects, and I stuck to the formula for yeah. that those 100 faces so I really could hone in on the skill being taught. Yeah. And that that's was huge. So I I feel like that's the answer to the question is maybe to try to do a series. Like you could do the fairies or the faces or anything. Mm -hmm. Just get into a rhythm of a, a really big series, like 50. You know, like the fairies were 50. How many are the faces? A hundred. 50, a hundred. 
But you could just so, do like one each one and that would be 10. Do you know what right, I mean? Yeah. Right. You don't yeah. have to do them all. But yeah, that's yeah. a good suggestion. I think that's, and I think the series, the series work a lot of the same way as the parties do as well, where you like get this like momentum going when you're like, okay, right. what's next? Okay, what's next? And it's right. not just like a one off. It's too easy to that's put That's how off I was with the fairy. Mm hmm. When you get to do them all and kind of dive in. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um yeah that's a good suggestion though april um yes the bundles are always are always um available at the same time and the next opening will be in july gail and also hi gail i know you gail did an in-person class with me years ago um so nice to see in gail. person how lucky is that oh i was fun to see gail i'll never forget her she was super cool she had all these t cool tattoos and she was like, I just started getting tattoos like five years ago. And she had all sorts of them. Like, that is super cool. <laughs> um, love it. Love it. Um, April, what do you say to this question? Which is, I'm I'm doubting for Wonder Bundle, but I'm wondering. Oh, I'm not probably doubting the Wonder Bundle, but I'm wondering as a beginner if it's if it's not too much. Do you think it's too much no. for a beginner? No. Not at all. And I'll no, just, because what happens is why. you see projects in the in the group and then you want to do that project and then you're not that's not in your club like it just makes everything easier well there's also places for everyone to where to start there's actually a curriculum in the drawing club and the mixed media society like how it's literally like beginners start here and you just start so there's no question you don't have to you don't have to figure out where to go by yourself. I will tell you day one, you start here and then you actually can go in order. And the same thing with the Celtic Collective. We don't really have a start here. Actually, we do. We have a whole classroom called Maidens, which we were going to call it Virgins. And I still wish <laughs> that we had. <laughs> I feel like we should have just done it because that's how inappropriate we are anyways. But our Maidens classroom <laughs> Just hang out in there until you feel comfortable and then you step outside when you're done. And all three clubs have beginner projects scattered throughout and they're all coded. They're all the pink ones are easy. So anywhere you go at a glance, you can see where the easy ones are um, to help beginners find where they can go and not be intimidated. Um, the other fun part about the fact that you have these beginner classrooms which really break things down and let's be honest, give you so much confidence because yeah. you break it down into little bits. Like, Oh, that's not as complicated as I thought at all. And you can do it. And you're like, ah, I did it. I did. It. And, and, and then you just, you barrel through them. Yeah. 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 Agreed. I think that brings up an, point, uh, an important point, too, for beginners where they might feel frustrated or overwhelmed by some of the more difficult projects. As a person who started as a beginner, I did those difficult projects anyway and just gave it my best shot because that's building my muscle memory. Mm -hmm. And even though it didn't look, woo, you know, it was something still that I was learning and growing and push to grow as an artist, you have to push those boundaries. Mm -hmm. um, if you stay in your comfort zone, it's not going to improve. So I still get out of my comfort zone. I know some people might not think I do that, but I still, <laughs> will, <laughs> I do. And it's almost, I like, don't. It, yeah. <laughs> um, I think like, you're amazing and you can do anything. No, in the whole I cannot. Life. And I struggle. I really do struggle. And there are things that I do. Uh -oh. It's like, like when Lucy teaches how to draw, something um which is not the way I draw I'll sketch it out with her and I'm like I can't do this I'm a terrible artist Ugh. you know like all those <laughs> negative thoughts start entering my brain still yeah. right I just better at being like mm, you know and just pushing it through mm -hmm. and uh knowing it's practice and it's a another strategy and anyway yeah I totally agree it's funny I started um 
I started an, an oil painting class last night for the first, it was my first class. I've never done it before. Uh, and I'm like, I was like, she, everyone kept walking in the room and the teacher knew e the names of every, like, oh, oh, hey, Jim. <laughs> oh, hey, Jenna. Oh, hey. Like I was like the new girl in class, you know? And like, so she knew everyone. They are all painters. I've never touched oil paint in my life. And I was like, Oh God, I know nothing. And, um, so I was like, front of the class I'm such a nerd I'm like front and center like a sponge like like you know everything and what she said something that stuck with me that I love so much she was like um the first our first activity was still like we're drawing we had live models and we were drawing them uh with charcoal on our whatever's and what I love what she said was like she's like don't at all work don't at all worry about like what you're making like the end result she's like all the work you're doing tonight is in is in here period. I was like, Oh shit, that's good. Like she's right. She was like, we don't even care what's on your paper. It's all in here. That's the work that you're doing. And I was like, wow, that's really, that's really powerful. Um, that's awesome. I know. Right. So I think a lot of it, when you were just relating back to the confidence, Jeanette, when you were saying like having those little bits helps build up that confidence, which is all in here, right? That's all in your head. Absolutely. And then, and then what Bryn was saying about like, I just attack the hard ones anyways, because again, you're <laughs> actually kind of training yourself to like, stop being scared, like stop being scared. Just pick up your pencil. Like who cares? Like who cares what the end result is? We're just working mm -hmm. on being brave, putting marks on your paper and like, who cares if it's awesome or not? So um, those are awesome points, ladies. Thank you so much. I often and, mention and in that beginner class mm -hmm. in Fun Fab Drawing Club about the Zen Tangle for mm -hmm. people who don't really enjoy it. I mean, some people just don't. Yeah, I don't. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't. And, I, teach and, it. <laughs> and but. I tell them that this isn't so much about the Zen Tangling as it is about learning to let loose with your brush strokes and how to, much pressure to put it down and what effects shading has on something. And these are all little things that you don't think about, but visually they create such impact. Absolutely. And absolutely. I don't, I, and I say that while I'm teaching, I'm like, I don't even like doing this guys, but you have to experience like what, what difference a line weight can make. Hello. Mm -hmm. Having three line weights in a drawing versus having one is the difference between drawing a circle and drawing a sphere you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, right. you're like, oh, wow. And you don't get it until you just do it. And like, who doesn't have three Sharpies lying around? Like, it's, you know, it takes no big deal to do it. And so going through those experiences, as little as they are, a silly little Zentangle fish, you're like, oh, no shit. Now I get it. And then when you go to shading, you're like, oh, I see the line weights is a thing. And then yep. this is also a thing. Okay. It's not rocket science, you know? So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then some I, people discover a meditative quality to it. Mm -hmm. And they enjoy it. Sometimes I do. Like, I yeah. alternate between realistic and loving illustration. I'm mm -hmm. such a huge anime manga nerd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without a doubt. I really, really am. I love it. And that's both sides of me, maybe because I'm a Gemini. I don't know. <laughs> but I, I love all the detail work involved mm -hmm. in both things. Because to create such a seat, a deep uh, scene that pulls you in to an environment where you're not. Yeah. It's, those little details are what does that. And I just have so much fun doing both things. I'm like, okay, you think I should pick something by now? I'm like, yeah, no, no, not happening. <laughs> not happening. Yeah. That's how I'll just be all of me. Yes. I agree. I love all of it. I want it all. Mm -hmm. I want it all. And, and I'm not sorry. It's okay. It's all, it's nice to have <laughs> lots of things. Um, yeah, I, uh, this is a tough one. I don't know what might be holding you back, Teresa. I wish I could pop you on so we could have a chat about it. Um, I don't know. April, do you have any like tips for someone who's like scared to dive in? I don't know. Or someone um, to like reassure them that like we're not going to bite. You can also cancel, by the way, like in five minutes. <laughs> if you don't like it, you can also <laughs> just leave. Like it's, uh, there's no contracts or anything. So that's just to reassure you. Um, but uh, I, I ended up in school because um, I, I've always drawn my whole life and I thought it was a, I thought it was a, like something that was given to you by God. 
and um, not something I could learn. So my therapist was like, okay, if you have this talent, you need to pursue it because it helps your depression. So that's how I ended up in class. So I believe that if you have the skill, you should hone it and it helps you mentally. I know that it helped me mentally. So um, don't be scared. Thank you, April. Just do it. And and I um, didn't have any talent whatsoever. And so I believe if you don't have any talent, you can also learn that skill and then hone it. Um, yeah. I shared, I shared my story, um, in the Facebook group the other day, I have these like ridiculous slides of, um, what I was doing growing up. Cause I was not drawing. Um, and actually Bryn, I have your picture too. I'm trying to think. Yeah. Um, and that was the best I could do. <laughs> well, which was better than what I was doing. So no, you know, but, I, yeah, I mean, that, that was the best I could do, you know, for, I mean, that wasn't even going back years before that. Um, I mean, there's, it's learnable though. So you can be, born, yes. you can be born with it, but you can also not be born with it whatsoever and totally learn it. Like, and I am, I was going to, I need to show the pics cause you can say it, but it doesn't really hit home until you see it. And then you're like, Oh, she, she really couldn't draw. Like that's, Oh, actually, I had no interest in drawing at all. Yeah, I didn't up. either. Not no clue. Didn't care. It wasn't my thing. I was all yeah. about the music, the drama, reading and editing and writing. Mm. I loved that. It's not funny. But uh, art? Yes. No, I sucked. So yeah. I didn't bother because <laughs> I sucked. <laughs> and, yeah. and I moved on and did the things I enjoyed and felt confident doing. Yeah, yeah. Right. It didn't even cross my mind. I was like, yeah, me that's either. Bizarre. Mm, not, not, like that's not super my weird. Thing. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. I actually thought I was not weird enough to be an artist. I had this like, like the artist in my high school. I was school, definitely weird. I was not. <laughs> I wasn't me weird. Too. I always had to like play it safe. I wasn't like comfortable. Like you know, I didn't want to be noticed by anyone, so I like tried to just hide a little bit. But stay um, in your lane. Exactly. I was like, please, no one notice me. Um, but I do have. Oh yeah, here I'll show you. I'll show you just these couple, the, the three, three pictures. I will share because Brins is in here too. Um, but just in case you don't believe me when I tell you that, like I really couldn't draw because I really couldn't. Um, because I really couldn't. Oh, here we go. So this was um, this was me. I actually wanted to be Jane Goodall. This is me in Africa studying paleoanthropology um and this is my first face <laughs> that i've drawn when did you draw that karen i actually i have the journal sitting right next to me on oh. my desk um i was in my 20s okay yeah i had a sketchbook <laughs> that was in it i can show you it's literally on my desk i used to use mr sketch mr sketch markers the ones that smell super good you know oh i love those i know i still i still actually have them um so <laughs> mine are in there um but this is real i can show you my sketchbook in a second um so this is like a big fun presentation and then this um this is sandy who i think she's here right now sandy is probably gets tired of me sharing this picture with everyone but i'm obsessed with it because for obvious reasons, but this is Sandy. She's in the drawing club as well. Um, and I just can't even, and now she's also developed her own style by the way, which is super cool. She does these like line work, black line work onlys. And then she'll do like the eyes super realistic and like the lips. And it's like the contrast between like the empty face and the filled in thing is awesome. This is Bryn who's here with us now. Good morning. <laughs> dog, you saying hi to dog? Yes, I am. I'm saying hi to my son's dog, oh, Artemis. Well, you can bring him on the screen if you want to. But here's uh, let's Bryn. Let's see if I can get her. This here's Bryn's little journey. And then this is Kara. This is another student. She was also in the drawing club. April, do you have any before and afters? I don't. You should get me, some. Do you have your old one? So I, can I don't here. have any. I mean, I have them, but I haven't posted any. I should. Oh, there's my baby. dog. But I've oh. only been in club not like six months. <laughs> Stop giving me kisses. Oh, my God. 
He's your sweetheart. Yeah, uh, she hasn't seen me yet today. Oh, babies, being humongous. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, she is getting big. She is. What were you saying, April? You were saying I don't. I I've, I've only been in in school not very long. I mean, I think I've gotten better, but I, I don't think it's a big enough jump yet. All right. Well, when you feel like it's a big jump, I'm sure it's bigger than you think. Um, come and show us. And then I was also showing, this was the end of my presentation. This is a vet who's a nurse and she just does it because it's super relaxing and it's like a stress reliever. So you also don't have to like, you know, you don't, you can also just join it because you like it. <laughs> Not for any, like, I need to be a serious artist. You know what I mean? You can just do it as an activity because like you were saying, April, like, it's just so good for your mental health to like yes. feel joy. Yes. I was such a nerd in my class last night. This is a true story. I emailed it out this morning. I was, we all were, so in my painting class and we're all, there's a whole big circle. There's two models and we're all in a circle with our big easels and our big paper. And we started to draw and I'm like, <laughs> I was like, I was like, stop smiling. Like, why? I couldn't stop smiling. It was like, I was so, ha I was so happy. I was so tired. It's been the longest week, but I was like, and I'm like, hey, Karen, like, stop smiling. Like, don't look like that. And I was like, okay. I was just like, the joy was like, my cup was like, just like being around other people that like to do the same thing at the same time. That's like also the community aspect of it, where you're like, yeah. these are my people. Like, we all are such nerds and like love to draw faces and whatever. Um, God, it just felt, it made me so happy. So there's just a, such a big mental component to all of the art part, too. You deserve some serious happiness and time to fill up your own cup. Amen. Yeah. Learning something new Amen. is big. Mm -hmm. It's exciting. It's it is. It is. And it's also very powerful to create something out of nothing. I think that's what's mm -hmm. also so cool. Like you ever do that? You're like, I freaking made that. That was a blank piece yeah. of paper. Now look at what's there. Yeah. It's like the coolest feeling. <clears throat> awesome. Awesome. <laughs> All right. I'm just reading through the comments to make sure I didn't see anything. Oh, good. Judith is glad to see this. Um, oh, there's Valerie is, an, is, uh, is a super big community member. She's an awesome cheerleader for everyone. She's in two of the clubs. <clears throat> and that's a great thing I hadn't thought. I hadn't thought about either, which is that there's like a million, <laughs> there's like a million opportunities, right? To have a success or a failure. You just try another one if you don't like it. Um, oh, this is super cute. Tammy says encouragement alone. Yeah, we are a bunch of cheerleaders. We love all levels. We love beginners. We love intermediates. We love, we love everyone. <clears throat> For sure. Yeah. I feel like I, um, I'm part of lots of art groups just because because <laughs> yeah, you love art <laughs> <laughs> and awesome art school is hands down the best art group out there there this amount of support and the types of people that are in that group and where people go I, I don't know how to explain it it's just the community and awesome art school there isn't another group like that and um, I agree it's, yeah it's an amazing yep. an amazing group and some of the other art groups are very, mm, I don't know how to say it. Stag snobby, snobby, <laughs> snobby, stagnant, maybe a little bit, uh, kind of more self-serving than, you know, other than, I just feel like with awesome art school, you just get this giant big hug every time mm. you go in there. I people. agree. It's a really All great right, my, place. My favorite are the newbies. I adore yeah. <laughs> watching yeah. someone learn that they can do it yes Amen. Yeah, yeah, i do nothing. too yes and like yes and i love that in this school and in this facebook group that people have also gone through this journey and really really understand how much a kind word can change a person's day can encourage them to go on. Listen, if you posted your basic beginner newbie drawing in some other group, if you even got one like, it would be something. And you'd be like, oh. Right. And at the same time, you'd feel a little bit like shit. No offense. <laughs> it, 
<laughs> Girl, you're hanging with me. You can swear all day long. <laughs> and and uh, it just made such a difference for me to feel welcomed like that. I realized that not the whole drawing was perfect, but somebody will contemplate comment that, wow, that's a great eye. Just such a nice job mm -hmm. on the lashes on that one. Look at the shading you got around the nose. And it, and it helps you to see the good parts, not the parts that went, as some people say, wonky. Yeah. And it's such a big, and it really, really encourages you to go forward and to learn and feel that you can do it. Yeah. And, and, and that's the Aaron, thing, like in awesome art school, I see growth with all the members and yeah. these other groups that I'm part of, it, they're, like I said, they're very stagnant. You know, it's just kind of like, do, 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 do. And no one really cares. And everyone's just kind of, eh. <laughs> you know, right. and, I mean, whether you're commenting or liking, it's all very flat. Whereas here is just so encouraging and, and it's very motivating. Like, yeah, I can do this. And there's a, there's 17,000 people supporting me doing it too, you know? So, yeah, yeah I right. think, I think what's so remarkable having watched so many people and why I love beginners so much is because I've seen so many people go from baby beginner to like, like artist making incredible art. And so once you see it, for yourself, I just makes me want to cheer more and more because we're like, come on, you got like, you don't even know what you can do. Like, come on, come on, come on, come on. So that's just me personally. Like when I see people who are like just starting, I'm like, yes, oh, let's, yeah. let's get them and going because, oh my gosh, like so quickly, you can really, you can really get better. So I am, and I'm so proud of our community and I am dead serious. I kick anyone out who is not and that's part of the reason it's such a nice group is i have zero <laughs> zero. No, zero. Like zero some girl some lady just like blocked me all over because i kicked her out of the group and i'm like you can't behave like that in here period i don't feel please block me because that shit is not happening here like no, absolutely not because what what you can accomplish with a whole movement of positivity behind you is amazing and it it's a real it's a real transformation that occurs so um i'm ecstatic that it has become the community that it, that it has and hopefully um it, it will stay like it better stay that way because I, <laughs> I will make sure of it <laughs> for Mary, sure can i also mention okay yes, yes ma'am so when i started i'm on a budget i could not afford your school Right. And not that it's expensive in any damn way compared to everybody else's. Yours is beyond affordable. And yet what drew me to you was the amount of content and generosity that right. you offer. You actually will teach us something. I hope so. Not keep it all behind yeah, closed yeah. doors. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh heck yes. Secrets, yeah. And I and and I was like, oh my god, look, I learned something. That's how you do that. And it's what? Well, there went and well, lost that one. <laughs> <laughs> that just jumped out of my ear. Um, there goes the other one. Um, it just made such a huge difference in how learning to see. And that's what I think your YouTube is what often, and this community is what often motivates people to join into Awesome Art School because you get that real time tutorial. You know, I, that I agree 100%. It, 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 it made such a difference for me. I'm like, how much more stuff can I learn if I get in that school? <laughs> you know, it's a lot, right? Yeah, 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 it is, and you have so much. <laughs> it's bananas. <laughs> well, and that was my story too. Was like, um, I was in another art class with another instructor before I came to Awesome Art. I didn't even know Awesome Art School existed, and I wasn't getting anywhere. You know, like it was another portraiture type class, drawing whimsical faces type thing, and it was like. I something's missing. This isn't working for me. And so I like literally Googled how to draw a whimsical face or something like that. And Karen's book popped up on the, the on Amazon. 
I'm like, Who's that? what's this? So I bought the book and then it's like, oh, there's a classroom. And back then there wasn't an enrollment period. It was mm-hmm. just join. Yeah. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and, the- <laughs> and the rest is history. I yeah. mean, because yeah, it was, you were the missing link that oh. I needed to, well, to grow. Well, I'm Me glad- too. <laughs> God. Well, I'm glad my weirdo teaching style um, connects with you guys. I think, um, First of all, I'm just honored to like be anyone's guy. Like if anyone wants to hang out with me, I'm very grateful that you want to. Um, I don't take it lightly, but also I think it might have to do with the fact that I'm always in the, I'm also a student. Like I don't, like because I didn't go to art school and I don't have some fancy training, like I feel like, and you can see this in my lessons too, like my early lessons with the easy stuff is because that's all I could do at that time. So I'm growing with the school and you can literally grow with me. And I am st- like, I just enrolled myself in a new class. Like I'm never, I'm, I don't ever feel like I'm at the top of my game. I feel like I'm always mid journey myself. So if we can all come and be on the same journey together. I feel like we can all grow together, which is why I don't hold anything back. Cause I, I don't even know what, you know, like I will tell you as soon as I learn something, like I will share it with you. Right. Like, let's go. Like we're a team. Like we can all grow and join uh, together. Well, I, and I was joking, I think in the chat the other day on one of the comments, I was like, well, that's why my lessons are like 10 million years long is because I'm not a fast artist. And so I'm like just erasing and screwing up and going and, you know, like on camera. Yeah. <laughs> but that's like, yeah, that's your honest, you know, yeah, sometimes it takes me 30 minutes that. to draw a lip, right. <laughs> you know, the, the, I don't know. Yeah. That's me. <laughs> and I'm the same. I don't, I've, I've never edited out a mistake because it's so important to somebody to see how I'm going to fix it. Like that's, mm-hmm. uh, that's more important than teaching it is how you get out of pickled situations, you know, and that happens right. all the time. So, um, so I, I draw I, quickly, but I, take forever when I'm painting yeah. and developing and adding color. Which is so That's fine. where yeah. it is. It's just my style. It's just totally. the way it goes. Yeah. But uh, sometimes I'm like, how did she get that done that quick? <laughs> you know? And then I realize it's probably because I went off the deep end and added all those extra details. Not according to Karen. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not a detail person, but I love that you know that it's awesome if you go off the deep end and go explore and have the time of your life. Cause you know, I'm going to be loving that too. So, <laughs> you know, it's just, it's just all good. You know what I mean? Like it is all good. Um, I had to address this one because I, everything is record is pre-recorded Jennifer. So you don't have to worry about time differences in terms of the classes the classes are already in there you just you enjoy them whenever you like whatever device you like um it's all pre-recorded that's the gorgeous thing about online classes is you just do them whenever it is convenient i don't teach anything live because of that reason we have we have students from all over the world and everyone does them in their pjs when i write we just roll out of bed and whenever you feel like it so you don't have to worry about time zones um, in that regard, <clears throat> oh, I know, I know poor Jennifer keeps asking the same question. Yep. The all, everything is pre-recorded. So you, you can start right now and have access to everything and you can start when, whatever time is good for you, um, is, will work. It's all good. I think it's important to talk about the teaching style too, for new people. Um, you do one step at a time and it seems like it's so much to bite off. But if you just say, tell yourself you can do it, sit in front of the computer and do one thing at a time. Karen does one thing at a time. You can do anything. I mean, yeah, that's how you get it done. And and I think that that's what's so great about your teaching style. And Lucy does it too. Um, Like, it's just like, I look at the whole picture and think like that mermaid and think I can never do that. And you just do one thing at a time and it's so easy in the end. Yeah. It is kind of like one line at a time. Yeah. Anyone can do one line at a time. Right. Know? Right. And that's and how I, you teach. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. Sorry. 
Oh, that's I was how just you gonna teach. say, and that's then how. you still have things, and you're oh. like, I can do that. I can whip that out, and then it takes you all day because something. <laughs> 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 like, and then it's very humbling, <laughs> and you feel like, yes. you know, back to that. I'm never good at this, you know, mm-hmm. kind of thing. So, I mean, I just want people to know that. And the ugly stage we too. The- we should talk oh. about the ugly stage. I Everything did, has an ugly. Yes. Stage. Every project has an ugly face. Every single so, like, oh, one. Yes. And you're like, hey, I like to talk to mine. I'm like, oh, hey, how are you? I knew you were coming. I didn't know when, but there you are. Like, what's up? There's High five. Each other. Where I'm like, I think I ruined it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> always. always. There's a, I think Every I ruined single it. piece. I think I ruined it. And I just keep going. And I was like, oh, okay. I brought it back. <laughs> yeah. 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 And, and I think that's why I never edit anything out because you need to see the struggle that I'm struggling and it's okay. And we get past it and we get past it together, you know, like it's okay. And don't be afraid well, to use an eraser or use tools. Like a white Posca pen is like an eraser. It is, you know, Yes. Um, that was another thing. Is there, that was another class I ditched when the instructor said, do not use an eraser. Just draw. And I was just like, screw that. I, Bye. <laughs> yeah. I tried it and I hated everything I drew because I had to not use an eraser. And I'm yes. like, that's stupid. Yes. <laughs> I know. Don't tell me what I can and cannot do. Like, right. if it I helps you, them. use it. If you want to yeah. use a template, use a template. If you like right. to use a ruler, use a stupid ruler. Right. I don't care. Use the tools to get what you like yeah. out of it you know I know <laughs> at my portrait class last night the guy that we were drawing had the coolest profile in the world I felt like I won the lottery I was a random I just randomly like plunked myself down before I didn't even know who the models were and who the students were and we sat down and I was like, oh my god he, he he had this like Roman. No, no, we're not allowed to take a picture of the models. But Damn. I did take a picture of my. <laughs> well, you know what, too? Was the instructor came by and I was like, I literally was like, he has the best profile in the world. And she was like, I know, right? And then there's like a list of rules I saw afterwards. It was like, do not talk about the model's body in oh. any way, shape, or form. And I was like, oh. And I was like, but it's just awesome. Isn't that okay to say? Like, it's really awesome. Um, oh, yeah. And I don't think you're, I don't see your face so much as part of your pod. Look at his <laughs> nose. Look at his nose, though. Okay, this is at an angle because these were in my car, so I'm taking it. But you can't really see exactly. But he had this, uh... like, he, and he was totally bald. And the lighting was so dramatic. And I was like, this is freaking awesome that why am so i telling cool. you the story there was a there was actually a reason that i'm telling you the story. <laughs> i forget what it was um i don't know but i'm just now thinking of jason momoa because i would love to have a <laughs> honey i always think of jason momoa <laughs> yes <laughs> can you stand here before yes. we make it in a just portrait sit here class? for a few hours so i can ogle you oh i know why i was telling you the no story because i was feeling good about it and then she was like oh did you know we have and oh and i saw a couple students uh, using these weird, like, almost like knitting needles. And I was like, what is happening now? Th- I, this is the month three of an ongoing series. And I came in, I couldn't do anything until March. So I'm like super late comer. Uh, it's like a, it's like a six month series. So I'm jumping in at month three and she was like, Oh, let me come and show you. And she had like a bin of like literally knitting needles and like these long things that you can use, you know, like you, like, you know, you see in the movies when people are like, doing like this whatever whatever to get angles on their pieces and as soon as she gave me this little wire thing I was like oh yep mm -hmm. uh this angle's wrong this angle's wrong that angle's wrong I was like I like saw it instantly right so it's like of course if you have a tool that helps you freaking use the tool like yep it's all good you know all good anyways that's why I was telling you the no story Um, (laughs) poor Jennifer has been flipping her mind because we weren't answering this because we were chatting before I hope that you feel rest assured that everything's pre-recorded so time zones don't don't matter in the club (laughs) poor thing I'm sorry I wasn't scrolling when we were chatting um she's not asking about the open enrollment is she is that it specifically to classes or is that open enrollment I think she was asking about because when does open enrollment in class club times? Okay. Okay. I think she was asking about. I think she was thinking that we like teach them live, perhaps. Oh, yeah. I don't teach live because it's too many. It's too annoying for the playback experience. And to be honest, as a student, I never can attend lives. They're always at a time I can't. can't. It doesn't happen. So yes. Bryn, where are you? Oregon, Portland. Okay. 
So we're in the team, same mm-hmm. time, same zone. time zone? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You're California? You I know? am. Okay. Yeah. And I do do office hours, but I do try to vary the times. Like in February, I tried to have all of them at like night for me. And then I, then I had like a six at night. And then like yesterday I had one at 9am. So like I try to vary them so that, but there are people from all over the world. It's always a bad time for a lot of people. and It's always fine for a lot of people. <laughs> it's like, it's, but we always have the replays. So it's, you know, I record everything. The chat, the chat gets recorded and transcribed and I put that in too. So you don't miss any links or anything, but Someone was saying they couldn't join because they couldn't hit any of the lives or the Zoom calls. But I was thinking about it. I'm like, I think there's almost 2,000 club members. You know how many people normally show up to a Zoom? 20. Like 20 at the most. <laughs> so like, it's just like a, it's it's nice if you need it and you want it. But like most people don't, don't do it. So it's super normal. <laughs> it's super normal not to do it. So don't feel like it's, it's not a, to me, it's a, a it's. You know, it's totally optional is basically you're not missing any content because it's like this. I'm just receiving questions. I'm not teaching anything additional. Um, oh, good. Judith's loving her planner, daily planner sheets and navigation. Sheet. <laughs> That's so fun. I'm glad you're liking those so much. They were super fun to make. Um, all right. All right. Well, we're almost at an hour. Does anyone have any last minute questions? And I'll let these amazing people go. And again, April, thank you so much for coming and volunteering. I'm so happy to talk about the club. (laughs) That is very, very generous of you. And please email Margo and just go shopping on my Etsy shop. Etsy (laughs) shop. Anything that you would like. Um, And Bryn, thank you so much for always love being here, teaching and the school and teaching your grid method and showing different ways to do things. So I know, and I'm I'm supposed to do the shape one too, which is coming eventually. (laughs) No worries, (laughs) we're not going anywhere, Bryn. You know that, so you know that one's really, 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 really hard. Yes, (laughs) yeah, Jennifer, it's six more hours is when open enrollment closes this little banner that's been buzzing on the bottom of the screen the whole time so it closes at 6 p.m so it's almost one o'clock and it closes at six so five more hours is when they close so um so now's the time to join so you don't miss out thank you trisha you're very welcome oh thank it is life changing to me so you guys that are on the fence just try it just try it for one do month it. if you want to. Just try one month. Just do it. Yeah. It's amazing. Oh, did you see this one, Jeanette? No, I did not. Oh, yeah. Come on, Jeanette. Oh. Come on, Jeanette. Yeah, girl. Hi. You're next. I have worked. I, I'm, I'm, I'm working my way up to doing some colored pencil lessons. I'm oh, hoping to yes. help yes. Awesome. Op- open that option up in both, um, you know, mixed yeah. media and maybe drawing club. Uh, maybe hate. even Celtic because yeah. Karen hates colored pencils and I add them to yeah. everything. Yeah, they're so dumb. So I add them to everything too, but exclusive so, colored pencils, like, ugh. it's like my worst <laughs> I, nightmare. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so Never. We, it hurts my hand. <laughs> we really need you, Jeanette, is what I'm getting at. Like, there's a hole in the awesome art school that needs to be filled. So, yeah. Thank you. So I you, will do my damnedest to get going. My door is always open <laughs> for your teaching. Um, oh, Yvette, you're so cute. I was just showing, Yvette, I was just showing everyone your smock because I'm obsessed with it. It's so cute. <clears throat> Lori loves colored pencils. See, I know people always ask about colored pencils. They're coming. They're coming. We just like to take our time. We're not going anywhere. We just do. We just roll out one art supply at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you, ladies. And thank you, Jeanette, for always being available, like what seems like 24 hours a day to all of our students and staff members alike. You are a blessing for all of your Possibly talents. Possibly 20. And she doesn't. Them. Jeanette doesn't sleep. She doesn't sleep. I'm pretty no. sure. I had no. a bit of insomnia. So <laughs> it works out great because I get to hang out with the people on the other side of the world. Yes. True. As well as here. So yes, yes, it yes. works out really. I can give a little love over there too. Yeah. When they need it right then. Because <laughs> right. Jeanette's my got you. Pri- <laughs> my prime time happens to occur between 8 and 4 a.m. Yeah. Uh, 
8 a.m. and 4 p.m. like some crazy people yeah. who like the sun. <laughs> Basically nocturnal, but it works for us. Now we have a 24-hour yes. staff. So I like to good. say, hey, you're a, va- a vampire. <laughs> that's more glamorous. Yes. Well, maybe the coloring works. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's why I'm blue. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely could be. Well, anyone who's on the fence come on join now forever hold your peace doors don't open again until july so come today awesomeartschool.com you can just do one club if you want to try it and you can just try it for a month you can if it's not for you you can cancel we will not be offended uh we would love to have you uh and also once you're in our once we have you in our grasp you can actually cruise around too <laughs> if you want to like add another club or you know upgrade to annual so you can get your free books or whatever that's fine existing members can kind of move around as they please um but we don't open to everyone should just come in except for two or three times of the whole year so it's a very special day we are sad to have the enrollment period close but we must because we got we got shit to do we got to make more lessons we got to be loving on our members so we got to close doors so we can go back to doing what we're what we normally do so thank you guys what what did you say i cut you off i said e hablamos espanol oh oh (laughs) wow (laughs) you speak spanish (laughs) and a little french and a bit of italian (laughs) that's pretty awesome Karen's face is like, what? I'm like, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> That's yes. okay, but the people who do never know. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> and then, everyone, on that note, whatever she said. Bye. <laughs> I said we speak Spanish. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Because I don't. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs> bye. Bye, everybody. Fun.